you're not on YouTube, it's probably because you think that you're not good enough. It's, it's probably because you think people wouldn't want to tune into what you have to say. It's probably because you don't know what to say. It's probably because you're afraid that your videos are going to suck and they're not going to be as perfect as you want them to be. It's probably because you're, you're waiting for that camera. It's probably because you're not in the right time of your life. It's probably because you think you're still too fat. Probably because you think you're too still, you're too still ugly still. It's probably because you think your acne hasn't cleared up yet. Well, I got news for you, man. I got news for you. And I'll tell you what. You've got to start now. You've got to start now. You've got to put up, start, start putting up videos. And guess what? People are going to, surprisingly, yeah, I know, people are going to think you're the shit. People are going to think you're so cool. People are going to want what you have. There are many, many, many things about you that other people want to have. And you just take them totally for granted. Like the fact that I'm a boy. Do you know how many girls want to be boys? That, that alone is huge. Just the fact that I'm a guy, that, that gives me a huge advantage on YouTube because all the girls watch, they go, oh, it'd be so nice to be a boy, so easy. You can just walk around without a shirt on, etc., etc., etc. So there's so many things. And like long hair, guys who shave their head, like, oh, I wish I could have long hair, like, blah, blah, blah. Or blue eyes, like, oh, I wish I could have blue eyes. Whatever, it's just some physical stuff. But they're also like, they're like, oh, I wish I could have your confidence, Ted. Or, oh, I wish I could, I could be raw vegan like you, Ted. It's like things I totally take for granted, things that I don't even consider things that anyone would even want or I th just things I consider everyone already has, you know? Um, like, I already I already think that everyone already has the knowledge I have. Like, most of the time I make a video like this, I'm like, why would I make a video with that? Everyone already knows it. But the truth is, no, people don't know this stuff, man. I get messages every day in my inbox. People saying, Ted, can you really live on fruit and be healthy? Or like, Ted, is it true that diet is relate relates to cancer? Or people are like, Ted, is it true that you can actually lose weight on fruit? Is it true that fruit doesn't actually cause weight gain? Like, people don't know these things, man. And whether or not they're even aware of them or not, there's, there's dietitians out there who are telling people the opposite. There are dietitians out there telling people that if you eat fruit, you're going to be fat. They're saying, if you eat the food that humans are designed to eat, you're going to be fat, you're going to stay fat. Instead, you should eat super low calorie foods and you should eat super low carbohydrate foods. And Man, people out there, they buy into that stuff. They buy into that stuff. I, I, I asked a friend uh, a few months ago, I was like, I was like, um, what do you consider a healthy diet? And he's like, something that's low in carbohydrates. And I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Well, what is, what is a carbohydrate? And he's like, um, butter? So they don't even know, man. First they think you're supposed to have low carbs, then he thinks carbs is butter. And then I asked him about caffeine. I asked him if he knew what caffeine was. And he says, uh, it's like protein. So I think caffeine and protein are like the same thing. And Man, there's so many people out there who don't know what you know and would benefit greatly from, from, from just hearing it. From, you don't need to say it in, in, a, in a fashionable way. You don't even need to say it in a confident way. You can just straight up say it like a robot and at least it's some information out there. Um, but you as a human being, you're going to start getting creative with your videos. You're going to start being more confident on camera and you'll start portraying information in a unique way that, um, that people can really buy into and, and will want to tune into. So when I have to say things like follow me on Instagram, my Instagram name is Fruitarian, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh, my, my ego's like, oh, Ted, who's going who's gonna to want to follow you on Instagram, man. Well, it turns out 15 and a half thousand people want to follow me on Instagram. That's who. I make a YouTube video. I say, who's going to watch a little YouTube video like this? I'm standing freaking on my, on my balcony here. Who's going to want to hear me talk? Well, a thousand people are going to watch this video. That's who. So, a thousand people, man. That is so many people. There's a soccer field way out here, yeah? Soccer field way out there. A thousand people would fit, fill that stadium. A stadium of people are listening to this video right here. So, I, 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 it's very hard for me to believe. It's, it's, I'm sure it's even harder for you to believe because you've, you, if, you, if you haven't put up videos yet. But once you start putting up videos, you get like maybe 8 views or 12 views or 40 views. 40 people are watching you or listening to you. That's a lot of people, man. That's a lot of people. I mean, uh, like if you, if you go knocking on door to door and you get 40 signatures, you're like, heck yeah, I got 40 signatures. If you get 200 signatures, you're like, yes, I got 200 signatures. That's a, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people backing you. It's a lot of people supporting you. So just start with where you're at. Don't play the when then game. Don't think when I move to Thailand, then I'll be raw vegan and then I'll start making YouTube videos. No, it doesn't work like that. When you're on the plane ride over, magically something doesn't just trip, flip in your head. And you're like, okay, now I'm going to make videos and I'm going to be raw vegan. It's like just... Do what you can, where you at, with 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 uh, with what you've got, and um, don't try and be anyone you're not either. Just totally be yourself. The videos where I'm mostly myself, just being whatever, I'll gobbly goop and beatboxing and doing silly fun stuff. People really like those videos for some reason. People just love authenticity. <clears throat> they love authenticity. P people love uh, hearing about my personal story. And when I tell my personal story, I feel like I'm just oh man, I feel like I'm. I sh I'm wasting people's time, but people are really interested, they're fascinated, because guess what? Facts may tell, I could say fruitarianism is the way to go, that's a fact, 
but they, people want the story, a story sells. So facts tell, stories sell. So come on YouTube, tell your story, and just let people know where you're at and where you're headed. Let people know where you're at and where you're headed and uh, all your journeys and trials and tribulations along the way. People really want to hear that. Uh, but I gotta say, when I first started getting on YouTube, I spoke like this and I, I would really have the camera like this. I didn't want to see, I didn't want to have people see me and I was very quiet and I would take a long time to, to get my thoughts out. And just go back and watch my old videos, man. It, it's crazy. I would not be talking like this high speed passion like that. Uh, it's just been years and years and years in front of this lens here, talking to myself, really. Um, so, yeah, make some freaking videos, man. Don't play the when then game, and I will see you on tap soon. Leave a comment below if you're going to start a YouTube channel and if people should subscribe to you now. If you comment below, I will subscribe to you. Peace. See you soon. Chiang Mai, Thailand, fruit living. Let's get some cocos and papayas. Been loving these things right now. Sitting on the pillow, eating papayas, drinking cocos. That's how we do it. Fruit till we can, live a lifestyle, learn about the benefits, and start now. Eating from the vine and feeling divine. Fruit living with nature's design.